Hello everyone. Welcome to Lila Bradley's Kitchen. This is part two of my barbecue experience with my ninja. And what I did today is I decided that since those thighs had been marinating for two days in the refrigerator, I decided that I would stick them in the oven because I put them all the way to the back of the refrigerator so they got a kind of little iced over. And um, so they're already pre-cooked. And I'm not experienced at using this particular method of barbecuing. I'm just testing it out and letting you guys see my mess ups as I go. <laughs> but what I've done is, I did, like I said, I had them in the oven for a little bit. And they got tender, actually. So what I'm trying to do now is I have it, have it set on real settings, which is kind of high. I haven't been able to reduce it down no, past, no more than um, 400 degrees. But I'm putting some liquid smoke on, the, on, on one side here. And I'm going to use a little barbecue sauce. I have been making my own, but I didn't like the last one I made because I made it with some uh, ketchup that had stevia in it. It wasn't the same. So. I bought this barbecue sauce from the store. And it does have a good flavor to it, so. Let that finish heating up. Once those lights go across there and finish up, they will tell me to add the food. But the food is already added. I'll have to raise the top up and shut it back down. And in the meantime, uh, that's getting ready. Over here, I have my skillet ready. And I'm going to cook some okra and yellow squash together. And as you can see, I have already cut up garlic, red, yellow, and um, orange peppers plus jalapenos. I have purple onion here and sweet onion with some pieces of garlic, about four cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna get my skillet ready. Put me some grapeseed oil in it. That's the one I use. Let that heat up. Once I dump it in, I'm going to let it saute a little bit and then I'm going to put some more of this Creole seasoning. Or some Creole seasoning, not more, but I haven't added any yet. And I'm going to use my favorite smoked paprika. And some garlic powder. Should be yummy. And my skillet handle around here. This is getting ready to start. 
storage thing. This is just my second time using it. I use the Ninja all the time, but only for air frying. This is my second experience with uh, using the grill. The first time it came out pretty good. But I don't understand why I can't reduce the heat down lower than 400, so I've got to learn a little bit more about how to operate that part. But I'm just going to walk it closely. And if I have to, I will change it to roast. I did that the last time too. I have roast right here. All I have to do is push that button and it will go to roast. Just waiting for it to finalize itself so I can raise the top up and let it know it's ready to go. I just can't stay out of the kitchen. I just love cooking and preparing my own food. So I can prepare it like I want it. taking forever. Just like they say, a watched pot never boils. Well, I guess it's true to this too, but it's going to set off in a minute. I'm just in a hurry for it to go off. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. I was up early and decided I wanted to go ahead and get my food ready. Sound like it's cooking in here already. It is. Look at that. It's already cooking. Now it says add food. But I'm not gonna leave it in there no more than about 10 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to start adding my vegetables. Here I have some squash that I steamed. It won't need a lot of cooking because it's, pre it's pretty tender right now. And my favorite okra. I um, bought it frozen, so I did steam it a little bit too, so it will be ready to go. Yeah, it's cooking good. Put it back over here. vegetables so I got it loaded up. And I have all types of 
the machines that can cut up my stuff for me, have a cleaving art, but I don't ever use it because I don't know, I'll get satisfaction out of cutting the stuff up by hand. Now when I'm having company in the large crowd, then I will use the machines because it doesn't take as long with the larger amount of things to cut up. Steam a little bit. I also bought some fresh green beans and I went ahead and washed them up and steamed them too. But I've let them cool off. They're going to go in the freezer for a different meal. But I just wanted to get it all taken care of while I was in the mood. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of seasoning in there. I really don't need no garlic because I've got garlic in it, but I'll put a little bit in anyway, there since I got it sitting out. This one, but I bought a new one yesterday when I went to the store. This is another seasoning that I like to use in some of my vegetables. It's uh, Bragg's Liquid Aminos. I've heard about the coconut aminos, but I haven't ever tried it, so I'm skeptical about how it might taste, but I am going to get some one of these days. This one is almost out, but I got a brand new bottle waiting. Okay, I'm gonna turn this back around so we can check the meat. See what it's doing. Yep, I think I'm going to change it now to roast because that's going a bit too fast for me. Let's see what I'm going to do here. potato back here. It just needs about 15-20 more minutes in the oven, but I didn't want it to cook too quick. I like for it all to be hot at the same time when I get ready to eat. Great. 
too bad we don't have smell of um, YouTube. <laughs> like they say, smell of vision, smell of YouTube. spoon is at St. Venice. It's a secondhand store. Several years ago, and the lady asked me, what are you going to use that for? I said, a spoon rest. It works perfect. back around and see what's going on over here. Find me a cork. I think I'm going to flip it over. I can get to it. Now what I'll do when I finish with this, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to turn this down a little bit more. When I finish with this, I'm going to put it in the casserole dish and put some, um, a baking dish, I should say, and put a little bit more barbecue sauce on it, but I like it saucy. As I said before, in moving, one of the legs came loose on my pit, outdoor pit. And um, at that time, I was putting things in storage. So one of the guys that worked there saw it in the hallway because we were moving things around, reorganizing stuff in the storage unit. And he asked me, you want to sell that? You want to get rid of it? I said, sure. I mean, it was falling. And I was ready to do whatever at that point because I had so much stuff to deal with. Eliminate one thing, and plus I was disappointed because the leg was all leaning over. And he said, well, how much you want for it? I said, well, make me an offer. And he made me an offer, and I accepted, so I got rid of that. Later this summer, I wished I had kept it, but it was gone. And I never did go buy another one, but I might get another one next summer. 
And of course, outside barbecuing has got to be better than trying to use something on the inside. At least I would like the taste of the outside with some good hickory chips, the corn or apple or whatever. Wet them and put them on top of the coals and let them smoke. around the edges in the oven with the meat. So, see how that's good. Look at that. Put a little bit of the barbecue on top of it. Barbecue sauce over here. Just a little bit more liquid smoke. Y'all can tell I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I'm trying. It tasted good last time, so I think I'll kick it up just a little bit more. Put it on 300. See how my veggies are doing. Turn my teeth down a little bit. 
fools, but I do like a little more. Especially in my vegetables. And of course my baked potato. I'll even have a little cheese in it. That's another thing I don't eat very much of, but on certain occasions, certain foods, I will indulge, I must admit. Y'all know how it is? Check my thighs again. Let's have a little taste test. It's good. So I'm going to turn that off. I got my oven reheated. And I'm going to put these in there and let them simmer. I'm going to put, I've got some more barbecue sauce, so I'm going to, I want these to sit in some barbecue sauce, so. Like my mama used to say, it's more than one way to skin a cat and some barbecue and figure out how to fix it without the grill outside. Mm -hmm. I really like this one. But when I was in Walmart, they didn't have this particular one, so I bought a different one. See how that looks? Yummy. It actually looks like it's been cooked outside on the grill. I did move the skin after it baked for a little bit because I don't really care for the skin. It, it's okay if it's really crispy, but I still don't really care for it. I like to take it off. I'm gonna go find my other barbecue sauce.
You know, this is the other one that I bought from Walmart. It's Stub Spicy. It has um, molasses, cornstarch, a bunch of stuff I don't really care for, brown sugar. I'm trying to see what makes it hot. Red pepper. Put some of that on it. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. So there it goes. It's going to go in the oven now. Check on my veggies, see how they're doing. It's a little warm. Oh yeah. This is cooked enough for me, because as I said, the vegetables, the squash and the okra had been steamed, so that's enough for that. I'm going to put my potato back in the oven so they can heat up again. And that's it for today. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. Please like, share, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. This was part two. Part one is um, already done, and I'm going to upload these today. So please watch, and hopefully you will enjoy. Have a peaceful day, evening, or whatever it is, wherever you guys are. Sending lots of love and peace. Thanks again so much. Appreciate it.